Hey, it's Steve Halleck, today with one of my all-time favorite pieces. Before we get into it, as always, please subscribe to the channel. You can find me at Instagram, uh, at, uh, at Steve Halleck, or on iTunes or any of your podcast channels. I do a TikToking podcast. So if you like, uh, if you like watches and you want to listen to more about watches, the TikToking podcast is for you. Anyway... This here is one of my all-time favorites, and I couldn't believe that I didn't have a video of one of these up already. Uh, this is an Urwerk 103 variant. This here is the 103.05. Um, and I, man, I did a 102, I did 202, 203s, um, I did the 110, I've done a ton of Urworks, uh, but somehow never the 103, which is their kind of most classic. Uh, the, it, it's the watch that really put them on the map. So here we go. Before uh, we start, you'll notice that this is a very well-loved example here. So um, excuse the wear and tear on this guy. But um, that is a good example of the fact that this watch is, uh, is fairly old and classic now. The 103 first showed its head about 15 years ago, um, and the first variants uh, were all the way closed and just kind of had a window there that these discs would go around. Um, but it wasn't until about 2004 or five, if I remember correctly, that the 103.03 came out. And that was the first one that opened up the mechanism with this crystal shape like this. And that really is what made Urwerk uh, blow up. That was kind of their big coming out party. They had made the 101, 102, and the standard 103s, but none of them had really ever gained um, major appeal in the collecting community. And then the 103.03 came out and uh, Urwerk took off. Of course, it didn't hurt that it came out right around the same time as the Opus 5, which Felix Baumgartner did with uh, Harry Winston, run by Max Buser at the time. And, uh, and so all of that kind of happened together to uh, put Urwerk really squarely on the map. Um, this piece happens to be my favorite uh, version of the 103, and uh, that is the 103.05. Um, so you'll notice uh, each 103 has a, as a sort of dot, uh, whatever number, as the iterations and variants. And they're really hard to keep track of, especially because three of them, which are the three most common ones, are very, very close to the same. And that is the dot .03, the dot .07, and the dot .09. Uh, those are all the white gold and rose gold ones. And really the only differences are like uh, the spacing of the ridges and very little things like that. Um, but the 103.05 is unique amongst the range for two reasons. First of all, it is in platinum which there's only other, uh, one other version that's in platinum. And the main thing that sets it off are these side windows, which it is the only 103 that has these side windows that are super cool and let light uh, through and let you see the discs from a whole other angle. So let's get into the actual design of the piece. You can see it's very sleek. Uh, it has sort of a retro-futuristic spaceship feel. It almost feels uh, vintage at this point. Um, you know, this could be a watch from sort of the 70s when watch design uh, got very interesting. And I know Felix was inspired, uh, and Martin as well, inspired quite a bit by those watches of the late 60s and early to mid 70s. Um, the time telling is done by the very sort of standard Urwerk uh, thing where they have an hour that goes around a path and tells the time. And then the next one comes down and while you're focused on those, these flip around. On the 103s, the flipping around happens under this. So you'll see it goes in this direction and comes out the other direction. So it's kind of like a sleight of hand magic trick. Uh, the crown is very cool, it's big. Um, this is before they started doing those big crown guards or anything like that. So you just pull it out and push it in yourself. And it is a manual wind watch. 
Uh, and you can see in the 103 is where they introduced this control board, which has become uh, one of the sort of um, most uh, unique and, and um, signature parts of Urwerk watches. Uh, the up here you have a power reserve, so it's manual wind. We'll give it a little bit of a go. So power reserve. Down here you have a running seconds, and here you have a 15 minute counter so you can um, more precisely set the time if you want to, although I've never really needed that. Um, here you have a really cool function which is a fine tuning screw. So this is actually connected to, oh, plane flying overhead, sorry. This is actually connected to the regulator and it, um, can increase or decrease the rate of the watch. So if it's running just a little bit slow or a little bit fast, no need to open up the case or send it uh, back for service, you can just adjust the screw a uh, very small bit here and it'll even out the rate of the watch, which is a really nice feature to have. Um, the watch is very comfortable on the wrist. It's sort of a, a perfect size and again, um, kind of has it's weird because it's such a futuristic watch, but it really does have a little bit of that vintage feel at this point. Um, maybe because it's so, this watch was so important in the early stages of contemporary horology that it really feels like a, a classic at this point. And Urwerk has become so, uh, so kind of masculine and machine, machiney in their design since then that this has a, uh, an almost a, uh, much more of a retro feel than how futuristic their newer pieces can be. Uh, you can see it's, it's fairly shiny. It's reflecting me and my whole place here. Um, but the watch is awesome on the wrist. It's really easy to tell time. Uh, this is a platinum case, so it's a little bit heavier, obviously, than the gold or um, you know steel pieces, but uh, it's not terribly heavy. Uh, the case, again, it's got this big cutout for this crystal. It's got the cutouts on the side. Uh, it's not super thick or chunky, so it doesn't, it doesn't really weigh you down. But you can, you can feel this one on the wrist for sure. Um, so anyway, I, again, I'm, I'm shocked that I've never done a 103 review, but at least now we get the ultimate version, which is the 103.05 in platinum with the side windows and these are quite difficult to find. So I'm pretty excited that I've got one here on my wrist and uh, I hope you enjoyed the review and I'll see you guys soon.